standing in a food plot that I created a number of years ago. And I've got this oak tree here, red oak, and uh, I've got some apple trees over here, a water hole behind me, and right now, um, with this oak tree here, it's competing, um, or I should say the apple trees are competing for some sunlight. So what I've done is I've hinge cut a couple of the smaller ones. I think I'm going to try to leave the big one, at least uh, for now, um, but I'm going to hinge cut this one as well and drop it towards the edge of the food plot, and then that'll provide some woody brows for the deer right now. It's early April and we still have a little bit of snow on the ground and it hasn't really greened up that well yet. And so that'll provide a little extra browse uh, until uh, some of this greenery gets going. So I'm gonna drop this over here, at least that's the plan, and I'm just using a handsaw today. Um, and I'm, I'm going to use a habitat hook to try to pull it in over there. Uh, one thing I would say though, if you are cutting any oak trees, you really don't want to do it during the summer uh, if you're in an area where there is a, a chance of oak wilt. So get the handsaw and try to get this cut. So I hinge cut a couple of the smaller red oaks and that uh, we still have this one left so we still have some acorns but we'll also get some brows out of this. The idea behind hinge cutting is the idea of cutting partially through the tree but leaving enough attached. This is the hinge down here uh, that the cambium layer where the xylem and phloem where the water and food travel through uh, still can maintain contact to keep the tree alive. And so what this is going to do in this food plot is make it a little thicker for deer if they're coming uh, from the woods into the food plot, from being able to see into the food plot a little bit, provide additional browse, get more sunlight. This tree, like I said, will um, have a little bit more nutrients by reducing these. And also I've got some fruit trees in here and they needed a little more sunlight. This one's going to stay for now and we'll see what happens. Uh, with the fruit trees there. They're still a year or two away from really producing much for fruit. So, uh, you know, this one eventually might go. I hope to keep it. I got another one over here that, that might go, but uh, doing this in the spring before uh, green up provides some additional browse and uh, didn't cost much. Only cost a little time with the saw.